Hi everyone, I am going to do a short and simple update to our math videos. Um, last week I went over the places um, for decimals and we talked about the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousandths place. Um, but what we covered this week was um, expanded form and ordering decimals. Um, some of my groups have started rounding, but I'm not going to cover rounding in this video because it is new to some of the students, and so I don't want to be putting anything new up here um, for students to be trying on their own um, because I want that. Um, obviously, I want to be able to see that in my small groups. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with expanded form and um, ordering decimals. So I went ahead and put my... Um, two questions for expanded form up here. Now we learned with expanded form with whole numbers, we're breaking the number apart. What are all the values of each number there? So for our whole number, we have 400 plus 70 plus 3. And then we're going to look at what's in our uh, behind our decimal. We have 9 tenths. We have six hundredths and we have four thousandths. Now really the only tricky part about this is making sure you get your number in the right place. So if we put um, decimal six that would put the six in the tenths place and that's not where the six falls so we need to be careful making sure the six falls in the hundredths place the four is in the thousandths place. Um, so I just put another one down here just so I could do another one we have 40 and we have 3 and then we have 4 tenths and 2 hundredths. All right, and then if I were to add a 3 on the end of that, it would look like this putting a 3 in the thousandths place. Now we've been practicing all this a lot and the um, kids are getting pretty good at it, um, or students, you're getting pretty good at it. Um, if you see your students stacking them up on top of each other doing it that way, that's absolutely fine too. Um, it's just depending on what strategy works for you or your child. Um, and the other thing we worked on this week was um, ordering decimals. So we are going to order decimals from greatest to least and least to greatest. But the example I wrote down was um, greatest to least. Um, so we have all these numbers here. I have 42 hundredths, 421 thousandths, 64 hundredths, 1 and 4 tenths, and 67 hundredths. Um, now the key here is going to be stacking our numbers um, and making sure our decimals always stay lined up. So I'm going to stack them. It doesn't matter what order you stack them in. And making sure our front numbers and our decimals stay lined up. All right, um, one and four tenths, and then we have 67 hundredths. Now I can go back, and where I feel like it's not lining up, I can go ahead and stick my zeros in. Um, that way all my numbers seem to be even, um, even lengths. All right, so I'm going to start in my column out here, my whole numbers. Do I have any whole numbers? I have one whole number, so I know that's got to be the biggest decimal. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and write my 1.4 out here um, because I know that's going to be the biggest. And then I'm going to go ahead and cross that off because I'm done with it. All right, so I have no other whole numbers. So now I have to go to my next column. I have 4, 4, 6, and 6. So I know 6 is going to be my next biggest number, but I can't determine which one's bigger without going to the next column. So I have 6, 4, and 6, 7. I know that 7 is bigger than 4, so I'm going to put 6, 7 first, and then 6, 4. All right, and this last one is the tricky one. We have 4, 2, 4, 2, 0, and 1. So I know the... 421 thousandths will actually be bigger than the 42 hundredths 
that I have. So I've placed them in order from least to greatest. And now that I've compared all of them, I'm just going to cross them all off and know that I have them in order. Now, the only thing I will say ever since we started stacking and learning like where to add the zeros, um, the only thing I would say that the students were sort of having trouble with was reading directions. Um, so for example, students lost points because they didn't read that it was least to greatest or greatest to least. So the big trick there is going to be reading your directions. Um, actually, I, I would say reading directions and reading the question fully and the numbers fully in your head is going to be key in this unit because I noticed like asking students to write it in word form that if they're not saying it to themselves, then they're not um, always choosing the choice that that is saying exactly what it should say or they're not writing exactly what the numbers should say even though they already know how to read it so um, reading directions is going to be critical in this unit and reading the problems carefully um, I will update you with rounding and addition and subtraction um, next weekend um, and that will be everything we're going to cover in this unit please let me know if you have any questions or need any help with anything have a great weekend.